Some call saffron the 24 karat gold of spices. You use it by the thread, it's so expensive because getting your hands on just one thread is highly labor intensive. Now, a local farmer is leveling the spice playing field and putting South Africa on the saffron producer's map. You might not recognize this exotic purple flower, but it's testing South African farmers who have signed up for the challenge of carefully cultivating it to produce the spice known as saffron. So this is red gold, each fragrance strand precious and can transform any dish. It is the world's most expensive spice at 200,000 rand a kilo. Saffron was first cultivated in ancient Greece. Today it's mainly grown in Iran, Morocco, India and now in South Africa. Benny Engelbrecht left his television producing gig eight years ago, returning to what he calls his Boer roots to farm. Although others had tried and failed to grow export quality saffron, Engelbrecht refused to be beaten by a flower. Strangely enough, my wife said to me, this is going to work. A lot of people said, you're absolutely crazy. What makes you think that you can grow it if nobody else has done it before? The spice is the stigma of the crocus sativus flower. To collect one kg takes about 150,000 flowers, as each one only has three stigmas. That's these red strands over here. Not only is it labor intensive, but it's painstaking. Engelbrecht and his team spend days picking the stigmas from the flowers, which is a mundane and back-breaking task. The saffron rush happens on this isolated farm in the Northern Cape between Williston and Calvinia. I call them my children. <laughs> he believes saffron has its own fighting personality. It needs you to look after it and you need to feel it and be part of it. I love what I do. I'm very passionate about this. This two-acre plot is where his saffron experiment, as well as his patience, has been tried and tested with his corms or bulbs. Today we're preparing the land, the field for this year's saffron. All these corms that I hear are from last year's harvest. They went dormant and, and now they're starting to wake up, so now it's time to plant them. With saffron, you plant it, 40 days later, you get your fruit, and then the rest of the season, the bulbs multiply under the ground, and in October, it goes into dormancy till about February, where it wakes up again and starts the process all by itself. Engelbrecht has found that the multiplication underground takes three years to reap the most profitable yield. So while he was literally waiting for flowers to grow, he came up with an outgrower business strategy called Safricon, which rents out the corms to other farmers, creating a new market, but also strategically finding out where else the fussy flower will grow successfully. Safricon has decided that we, we're not selling our corms. We're renting them out basically for three years. And then after three years, because they multiply up to 27 times in three years, we buy all those combs back again from those outgrowers. Engelbrecht's farmhands joke that they've broken their backs with Engelbrecht, not for him. My family is not so trots with me. I want them to grow with me in this business, to take ownership and you can see the pride. This soccer field sized crop will rake in a million rand. Engelbrecht's team are also hand delivering these starter packs to small scale farmers around the country. I don't want to give out hectares of this and then everybody is cross with me because it didn't work. The best thing to do is to make sure that it works with you and then next year you can make an educated decision by yourself. Saffron provides a beautiful golden color and a pungent aromatic flavor to food. The red gold threads are sold in a few strands or even in ground form. It also has many other uses in medicine, perfume and dyes and it's the color and the smell that determine the quality. We met up with a team in Johannesburg who have found an international buyer. 
Iran is the biggest producer. They do about 300 tons of saffron a year. Um, so this, this is, this is a comb. That's it. That's okay. it. Comb summit, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just got feedback from a sheikh in Bahrain that wants to buy all our saffron. That the quality is extremely good. So how much would saffron this much be about? About ten grand. Ten grand. Yeah. So I'm holding ten grand here. Yeah. Ten thousand. Yeah. And to fill this? That's about a day, day to two days work doing it. Two days just for this much. Yeah. Two days. <laughs> Leave it by the honor of the noble home of Yerke van Daiti too. It is not a racky dan, that's a racky vida in no to permanent work. North of Pretoria, a small scale farming project has been set up to plant saffron. March is planting season, and by the end of April, the flowers will be ready to harvest. Yakufik is a painter, but upon hearing about the lucrative opportunity, decided it was worth digging up his family's plot and planting the picky flower. When did this operation all start? Well, basically from breaking soil, uh, three weeks. Three weeks? This is three all weeks. All of this work. in three weeks? Yes. Wow. And are you excited? Yes, we are. We are. Um, totally excited. Uh, we are really looking forward to what this can actually become. This is the most expensive spice in the world. <laughs> 200,000 a ki kilogram. You're like, kombuta, let us go. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> was that the conversation, basically? <laughs> basically. Basically, it was... Yeah. If, we, if we're going to do this, we need to do it 110%. Farming solutions expert Corne Liebenberg shares Engelbrecht's vision, but also Safricon. As co-director, he's assisting investors in cultivating the spice successfully. What's the excitement around saffron? The, the potential income stream. Mm -hmm. They started, I think, with about 300 um, of the corns, and now it's more than 2 million. So it's, it's a good success story. You have to create a market and a, a, a good brand. And I think that's going to create a, a, even a bigger market because by f currently the demand is just way, way higher than the supply. So kids can, we can stop saying Old MacDonald had a farm. They can say <laughs> Old MacFarlane had a farm, right? <laughs> <laughs> Engelbrecht has gifted a starter pack to the local Calvinia municipality, hoping they become as excited about the flower as he is. Back on the farm, it seems even the weather, which has brought rain, is spurring on Engelbrecht to succeed. Very nice surprise last night, when 25 millimeters and basically the soil was prepared for us for today. Using modern farming techniques like a planting machine, the team cut down a week-long process to only a few hours. For now, it's very crucial that we don't go overboard and go too quickly. But for now, we need to do our own work and make sure that it works right now. Engelbrecht's can-do attitude will hopefully see that careful homework rewarded. For now, though, he's content to while away the time waiting for his saffron to grow, reading his own poetry on his stoop in the vast Karoo landscape. There is a free stilte that is hang, the stiller as the stilte in the gang. I see the stilte near my eyes. This is the stilte still from the Karoo. Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content.